Hi, I'm Ali and welcome to the China Repair Studio. So today I thought I would do something a little bit different and I'll show you him. And it is this beautiful rhino. And as you can see, he's missing a little tip here off his horn. So we're going to put a little replacement horn on him. But before I do, if you haven't subscribed before, please subscribe, please like and also please share. Right, so here we have our rhino and what we're going to do with him, we're going to fill this part here with milliput first. So I have my trusted milliput. Now this does come in various different colours. I think there's a black, a yellow, a blue-grey and white and I think there may be a terracotta as well. And it comes in two parts. You have one blue bag and one white bag and you want to mix the parts in literally 50-50. In the yellow bag it does tend to be more of a yellow colour so when you mix it with the white bag which is a pure white first of all it starts out almost like marble but the more you combine it it then becomes one unity one colour. And you want it, once you've done it, you've taken it out, make sure you put it back in the packet here. Now I have pre-done one and I've combined them together and here we are. So you want to make it almost into a round ball. And it may take a couple of times to get the right combination of. And we're just going to have a practice run first before we apply any glue. Um, I don't tend to use glue usually, but because, to be honest, I just want to show you, because it's a flat piece, I think it does need glue as well. But we don't want to do this with the glue on, otherwise we're going to be squidging glue everywhere. So you just want it so we can get, get the right shape. And we want to kind of blend it in. It doesn't have to be perfect. don't want to make the husk too bulky either. We haven't got anything to sort of see anything else to see what it looks like so I'm having to guess. I want to kind of go with the shape. As you can see it has got lots of texture on it so you know you don't need to worry too much. Now that's kind of that's kind of the right shape. You want to look around always. Quite pleased with that. So we're going to take it off now. If there's any other little bits on there, we can clean those up. Now I'm going to mix the glue and the glue I'm using is Araldite, which is the slow release glue. You want to again use 50 of one, 50 of the other. So in equal quantities. Now I tend to mix my glue in old pots, um, sorry, on with old lids. Now I've already mixed some here so it's an old lid I think might be from milk or something and I always collect them because they're so useful for mixing up glue and putting and mixing paint. I've got a cocktail stick and you want to combine them both together. So as I say I put some of this and some of this both of these in here. You want to combine it. Now at this point I tend to use um, some white powder which is titanium dioxide but because we're going to be doing this all you know gold I don't think that's needed so we're just going to mix that now we don't need very much on this so I'll just take a tiny little bit might even less really just a, um, just a little bit on there Let's take this off and we just want to place it you don't need to go all the way around the edge because you don't want it to be squidging everywhere. You just need a little bit just to help with the arrow, the, the milliput. Right, so once that's on, we're then going to take our piece of milliput. I just want to quickly say he's actually made of a resin. So he's not ceramic and he's not porcelain, pottery. 
Um, I just want to show you that you can use these on other materials, the same, you know, Milliput and these products. It's the same sort of kind of principle. So, you know, you could use it on, on things like, as I say, something like this, a plastic resin, or you could use it on um, bronze. Sometimes we've got a bronze figure and it's chipped a piece. You could add something like this. And then we just want to squish them in place. And that's looking quite good. I want to work all the way around. Now I want to leave him for at least 24 hours for it to cure and and for the milliput to harden and for the glue to harden underneath and then we're going to give him a little bit of gold. I'm still not sure whether to just do gold on the tip or do it all the way down. I was at the first start going to do just the gold tip but actually I'm slightly thinking perhaps he needs gold all the way along but we'll see. Now I'm not going to sand him because it's on a different material so we want to make it quite you know you want it so it's nice and flush and a good shape you don't want too much going out everywhere so there we are we'll leave him for 24 hours and i'll see you then right so we're on the next day so what we're going to do is finish painting him and you know what i was going to do paint just the tip but i've decided to do the whole lot here I think it would make him look even more special. Now what I'm going to use here is liquid leaf. I want to give it a good shake with the lid on and holding on because you know this does go everywhere and you'd never guess it's out of anything. And let's open that up and take a paintbrush. You don't want too much because it dries quite quickly and it is, um, you know, you don't want it to have any dribble marks. So let's have, first of all just start on where we milli put, put the milli put on. And then we can start moving down. Just want to keep going, keep checking. Yeah, is it blending in? And then he may need a second coat, but I think he'll be fine. I think that's done. And there we go. That's going to take not very long. I reckon about 20 minutes for that to completely dry. It may give us a second coat, but I actually think he'll be fine. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you haven't subscribed before, please subscribe, please like, and also please share. Okay, bye.